Throughout yesterday and overnight, rescuers have worked tirelessly to help those trapped by the flood waters. In the early hours of this morning, authorities evacuated... As floods continue to ravage many parts of Britain, northeast nearby. Lincolnshire, including Grimsby, Immingham and Cleethorpe, some businesses in the town centre can only area. hope their insurance will cover them to get back up and running. Others are still finding going. I've got to open the chip shop. That's the one shop that's actually dry, but apparently it's going to rise into there soon. Uh, there's about seven inches of water floating around in the bar at the moment. Normally, when it rains here in England, it can be heavy, but does not really last too long. Yesterday was heavy, and it went on for hours. It started on Sunday night, then rained all night, all day Monday. By the morning, a lot of roads were flooded, cars were driving through a foot of water, and sh some roads were impassable. By lunchtime, schools had started closing and businesses were sending their workers home. We left college at around 2 in the afternoon, and what would normally be a 15 minute drive home took nearly two hours in the pouring rain. Cars had broken down on the road, the drains were overflowing, roads were like rivers, police and fire brigade everywhere out. The path and roads nearby French John's house was flooded, at least 10 feet deep. It was exciting and mad, but it is a bit scary too. We know that the climate is changing. We hear about it on TV and read about it in the newspapers. But it is strange when you actually start seeing it with your own eyes, the effect of it for yourself. This is Bami Boy reporting about the devastating rain yesterday that caused a lot of flood around the street of Hall and beyond. And in the studio with me I have three pretty young ladies from our first college that are going to talk about the flood yesterday. So yes, I start with you, madam. So what do you think about the flood yesterday? Um, it was really bad yesterday. Um, I was only walking in the rain for like 10 minutes and my dreams were completely drenched and that was only in the morning. And the rain just kept getting worse like throughout the day and it just kept building up and building up and roads were closed and I got stuck in college for like an hour and maybe two hours because there was no buses and like because all the roads were closed and no cars could get to a college so we ended up walking halfway home and I had to walk through like maybe seven inch deep puddles so by the time I got home I was really wet <laughs> like really wet like as Shona said the weather was like stupid it was just raining all day. There was like puddles past your ankles and stuff. But I was walking to the bus stop from college and I didn't want to walk through the puddle. <laughs> so someone from across the road ran and carried me across the puddle. <laughs> and then we went across to the bus stop, but we got like soaked along the way and it took me three hours to get home because of the floods. So it wasn't good. Well, yesterday, as Shana and Annie have told you, the weather was really bad. There was like two months worth of rain and just walking from Woolworths to where, which is like a minute away, I got absolutely drenched. 